Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today we are going to upgrade the Nege Master 2S Plus with the 40W module from Nege. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, before to get any further, um, have a look to the description below. There is a timestamp so that you can jump directly to the part of the video uh, that may interest you. So what I'm about to show you uh, is going to apply for all the Nige Master series of uh, laser engraving machine. Now this is the 40 watt A40640 laser module from Nige. I'll show you the uh, where I purchased it from and also I'll put it in the uh, description below. Um, so this is the module of the 40 series that means uh, this is the module that has the small inspection glass in the front and I'm going to replace this uh, in my machine which came with the 30 watts module all right so let's crack this open let's see what it comes in the box and let's quickly uh, install it Alright, so this is what comes together with the laser module. So as you can see, we got the laser module. This is the power brick, uh, the 4 ampere ones. Uh, then we have these two electric board. One is uh, uh, PWM uh, uh, power generator or modulator. And this is a power adapter board. Then we also get one of those sliding shoe, which if you have a uh, master series should already be in there some uh, cabling harness and then the Nege module kit uh, manual so in the kit this is very interesting because you can see basically all of the different modules that are offered by Nege and so if you got a machine with this type of module that's where the sliding shoe comes in handy because then you have to basically apply the sliding shoe and you will be able to uh, apply the uh, install the module of this form all right so uh, the interesting thing that I was noticing while opening it and uh, I'm not really happy with it is uh, the quality of this uh, module so as you can see the front face with this uh, nearly mirror finishing is uh, tiny scratch marks in it all over actually and then the inspection glass has some uh, indentation so I don't know why that is in this way but uh, I'll definitely contact the seller to see exactly uh, what is going on I can see also some dirt inside here I don't know if I can render this to the camera there is some dirt over there so yeah anyway let's give it a try and then we will see how it goes all right so all you will need to replace the module in the uh, Nege master series of machine it's the uh, one flat screwdriver and the hexagonal Allen key after that you will need your new uh, 4 amps power brick to replace the old 3 amps one and of course the module so alright so first thing first we are going to unplug the machine from the grid and to remove the old power brick as you can see over here now we will need to disconnect the old module so let's put the new module out of the way so to do this you can use a small flat head screwdriver just to pry gently onto the connector after that you can loosen up the clamp so that you can remove the module okay and that's the module that goes if you were using one of my height adjuster 
uh, then the only thing to do is just to remove it and then to pry this off in order to install it into the new module. Alright, so we can now slide in the newer module, we can put it in place, we can tighten the clamp, then we can connect once again the cable and once we are ready we can connect the power and the USB cable so that we can connect to the computer and that's basically all. Now we will launch the software just to see that everything is fine and we can try carving something out. All right, let's see. All right, let's now launch the Nagia desktop application and that should connect and home the device. Great. Let's now try to engrave something. Let's actually close the Nagia desktop application. Let's, let's launch the Lightburn software. All right, let's now quickly see how the 40 watt module compares to the 30 watt module. Uh, bearing in mind that the 30 watt module, the uh, N4063.0, uh, had uh, a single laser with the total optical uh, power output of 7.5 watts, while the 40 watt module, the A4640, has a dual laser with the FAC lens, which has a higher performance, and a total of 15 watts of uh, optical power outputs. So, despite the power consumption of the two module, it's uh, uh, just a quarter, the optical power output is actually double. All right, as you can see, I have my usual setup. I have my three lines. I have the inclined plane, so I can basically also check which is the uh, right spot for the focusing height, uh, since also this uh, laser doesn't have uh, an adjustable uh, dial for the focus. Uh, so now I've drawn these three parallel lines, each one is settled to a different uh, uh, power condition and speed. So I'll start engraving the first two lines and then I'll reserve the third one once I see the result of the first two. All right, I think we are now ready and we can give it a try. Start.
All right, and that's pretty much all. Um, so as you can see, the process is pretty straightforward. Uh, luckily for us, NetJ made the, the machine upgradable, so the motherboard can basically handle the extra uh, power. So if you have purchased the machine with a different form of laser module, then you will definitely need to look for the uh, adapting uh, sliding shoe, uh, which came together in, uh, as a form of a kit. So, but otherwise you are basically good to go. <clears throat> there are many options there where you can buy different type of kits with different um, attachment and boards and accessories. So uh, really it's, um, it's just a matter of uh, uh, looking out. I purchased mine from the NJ official uh, shop uh, also because it was the quickest one to arrive so but uh, you can really go and use aliexpress and uh, there are uh, several different options there too so and as you can see we managed to cut through 18 millimeter of uh, white pine uh, which is remarkable you know uh, i wouldn't actually expect that so the power settings were 100 percent with a speed of 100 millimeter per minute and a focusing height of 19 millimeter four passes and as you can see we got something that is pretty clean okay i've uh, eventually uh attempt to cut the through the longest axis but i only managed to reach 50 percent through so obviously um after a certain point uh the laser goes out of focus and therefore it cannot go any deeper and that's pretty much all for this video guys um if you liked it Click the Famba button below. If you have any comment, leave them on the section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.